Hi everyone, I'm Baba Tony. Today I want to talk about a special topic, and that is poverty in the developed countries, poverty in the advanced world. Now, poverty in the less developed places is straightforward. We know the causes of our problems. We know that, like for example, now corrupt politicians, um, you know, corrupt politicians not being educated, misappropriation of funds, and things like that. We know the problem of our impoverishedness in the least developed countries. So what I'm having, what I want to discuss is that which are the problems facing the poor people in advanced countries. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Before I do that, I'd like to thank you, show full appreciation to my patrons. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys. Without your support, all this would not be possible. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you guys. All my patrons, so that we buy me cups of coffee. Thank you so much. Most especially at Tommy Show. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys. All right? Listen now. In the developed world, I believe, or what, let me say what I've been hearing around, that the moment we are working, every basic amenities, you know, the basic things to survive must be available to you because of their, you know, powerful economy. But I've, just, I've seen in many cases, really some of them that I met online, that uh, it's also possible for a father to be working. Let me say a father with two, uh, a couple with two children, both the mother and the father are working, yet they find it very hard to be able to eat daily meals. They find it hard. So my question is, why is it happening like that? Because uh, from my belief and some of the things I've been hearing, that the moment you are working, basic things should be available to you. I'm talking about food, shelter, and basic things like that should be available. But I discovered that, in fact, some of my supporters, talking about my patrons, uh, they tell me how things are not very smooth. And I don't understand that why is it happening like that? Isn't the uh, Western world or let me say developed world, you know, should be better in that aspect than uh, the least developed world like uh, like us, Nigeria. So why does it happen like that? I know that the white powder, I, I don't want to mention it, the name, you know, D-R-U-G, I don't want to mention it so that Facebook will not, uh, you know, not demonetize my video, this video. So the white powder, I know that is one of the causes of poverty in advanced world. That is very, very simple and straightforward. Once you start consuming it, you're not able to do your things you're supposed to be doing, and now uh, you become addicted, and all the money you are getting will be going into that stuff. That is perfectly understandable. But what I don't understand is that this family, they don't engage in such. They are law abiding citizens. Both the father and the mother are working, yet they find it difficult to, you know, to live daily life in convenience. So I don't know why it happens. Maybe you guys can tell me why it's happening like that. It always baffles me that this thing is what we think should be happening in our own corrupt country. Because in Nigeria, you know, the politicians are the, our problems. Because you know, when you see them, politicians, they're full of greed. You know, they want to have what they don't even need. Steal all the money and others like that. So my viewers, I would like to share your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear your opinion, what you think about it. Um, I just, I can't wait to read your comments. Poverty in our developed world. Why do we still have families? Despite the fact that they are working, they still find it difficult to eat three times in a day. They, they, you know, they barely survive, you know, they barely go back. I'm talking about in a country where the infrastructure facility is top notch. The security is there, the education, is of high quality, then the infrastructure are there, the social amenities are there. Why is it happening like that? I just don't understand. I would like you, my Westerner, my viewers, to tell me, to explain in the comment section below why it is happening like that. I would love to do that. The second part that I want to talk about in this video is our USA justice system. I just don't understand let me say Western world justice system. I don't understand it. What do I mean is that uh, the way they treat, you know, murderers, the, um, talking about the killers, most especially those who commit first degree murder, the way they are being treated, 
I don't understand why they do that. We are talking about someone who blind in their own mind. They blind. They, they did it, did everything they call, considered it in their heart to take someone's life. In many cases, someone who has never avoided them, they've not done anything wrong to them in any way. They do it, they execute it. And in the long run, when they are caught, when they are caught, they are uh, the uh, the general, the journalists, the police, when they've done the investigation, discover that this is the person that did it, and now uh, the person also confessed. Now, when they get to court, in many cases that I've seen, I've just discovered that the person, the uh, criminal, may be sentenced to 15 years. I've seen 15 years before. I've seen it in now. Uh, one of my videos that I watch in the uh, documentary that the man was sentenced to 15 years. And later, after after the man served eight years, he was released on parole due to you know good behavior. Why would it happen like that? It's not supposed to be like that. Now imagine this: that a criminal killed one of your loved ones. He killed one of your loved ones and he was caught. And it was sentenced, it was uh, sentenced to 15 years in jail, or let me say 20 years. Then after 10 years, it was paroled and was allowed to come outside. And you are going on the street and you see this person, this person who took your loved one, one of your loved ones, who took them. Now you don't see them with their own family, with their own loved ones, enjoying their lives. You see them having fun. How would you feel like? I believe that is not justice. That is not. He took the life of the loved ones. They shouldn't be having fun. They don't deserve it. So that kind of justice, man, what bothers me, another thing that bothers me is that I'll, I've never seen much people complaining about that. Though I've never heard different opinions about that, many people's opinion, but I believe if more people are talking about it, I'm talking about the Westerners, things should have been done about it. I believe things are now being done about it simply because many people are not. Why should it be like that? Even as uh, as a first degree murderer now, if you are sentenced to 25 years, that is not enough. That means that if the criminal is 20 years, the criminal is 20 years old and was sentenced to 25 years, if the criminal fully served the sentence by the age of 45, they will be out. And by the age of 45, they can still do many things that we do. Many things that the criminal are, de are deprived his victim from doing, he can still do it. Have a family, enjoy life, you know, accumulate luxury. That is not justice. I want somebody to explain why that can be seen as justice. You take someone's life, you are not supposed to have your own life. I'm talking about first degree murder now. You don't deserve to have your life once you've taken a man's life. That's just my opinion. I'm airing my opinion in this video. But if you have any contradicting opinion, I'd like to know in the comment section below. Thank you once again for listening to me. I really appreciate you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you so much, size. Most especially at the show. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Like video, like my video, share and comment. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you. You can support me by clicking on the description of the, of the video. You see my Patreon link there to support me for as low as a dollar. Every cent is highly appreciated. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you next time.